years ago, I went to live in Zurich, uh, mainly because I wanted to understand how a city like that functions. You have to really live it to, to really appreciate it. The trams, all the lines every seven minutes, the coordination between the different systems, the buses, the trains, the ferries, the cable cars. Everything works to make a seamless system. I've never seen anything quite like it anywhere in the world. Most people, they come from outside, they came by train because you can hardly find a parking space for your car and we have so good public transport system that you don't need to come with the car from outside. They're sending a message that you are invited, are welcome to the city, but your car is not. So in the 90s, they had something called the historical compromise, which is like this over-the-top statement when you're talking about um, transportation policy. The compromise was that no new parking would be built in Zurich unless they removed existing parking. We have just a fixed uh, amount of parking spaces. We are unable to build more parkings in the inner city. We're, it's forbidden. So this is Rennweg um, in the heart of the Zurich. It's a pedestrianized zone that used to have parking on the surface. But nowadays it doesn't because all the parking that has been created underground, the city has, uh, since the 90s, decided that they will keep their parking fixed and uh, any new parking places that are created will be removed somewhere else. So there used to be cars here parked, nowadays uh, it's not the case. And as you can see, pedestrians love it. The main street in the city, or the one that is like the equivalent of Fifth Avenue or Times Square in Zurich, the one that the city really identifies with, is Bahnhofstrasse, and that's uh, a street with really a lot of high-end shopping, and it's essentially a transit mall. We're riding uh, Limotke right now. It's a uh, it's a lane for public transport, bicycles, and pedestrians mainly. But it's not so long ago. It's about 10 years ago. This was a main route through Zurich for cars. Down there, across the river, that road is called Limotke. A, uh, a few years ago, that was a major car road and they decided to, to take the cars out. At first they were having a lot of uh, protesting from the shop owners because they were afraid they wouldn't get any customers. Now that it's done, what you're seeing is uh, there's people walking around and when people walk around they can actually go into the shops much more uh, easily and they have seen uh, increases in their sales so now they're pretty happy with what's been done. Mm -hmm. 